Now it's one of the world's most important shipping routes, and it's blocked. On March 23rd, more than 400 vessels began stacking up behind a ship that had gotten itself stuck in the Suez Canal. This event forced people to think about something that would never normally cross their minds. Inventory. Today, anything that we could ever need or want is just a few clicks away. But what's keeping our shelves and online stores stocked is a system that's actually been around for even longer than the written word. A system known as inventory management. In modern times, inventory management is done using a series of processes and technologies that can make managing inventory simple and efficient. But to truly understand where all of this came from, we need to go back 50,000 years. At the time, people used tally sticks to keep track of their stock, which were made of pieces of bone, ivory, wood, or stone, and were marked with a system of notches. These tally sticks would represent the very first form of inventory management. This new system allowed for increased trade and laid the foundation for the birth of civilization. Advancements to inventory management were slow at first. Much of it relied on individual counting and record keeping. That was up until the second industrial revolution, when the punch card system was introduced in 1889. From then on, inventory management started to see increasing automation. Almost 100 years later, in 1974, a pack of Wrigley Company chewing gum was scanned with the first non-ubiquitous UPC barcode. A year earlier, the future of inventory management was already beginning to take shape, with the first patent for radio frequency identification technology. By the early 2000s, inventory management software was becoming more common, and in 2007, Inflow was launched making the process of tracking inventory even more simplistic and automated. Today, Inflow utilizes barcodes, simple user-friendly applications, and the power of the cloud to help create optimal efficiency for our modern-day inventory needs. When you see how far we've come, it's hard to imagine that all this actually started with just a few sticks.